This is the Jim and Terry Show, and I'm Terry. And I am Jim, and we're going to be doing something that we've done before, so never mind the announcement. We're going to wing a series of podcasts. Why Things we, that come to mind. Why are we going to do that, Terry? Because you didn't bring down the notepad, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the buck, Terry, as my wife likes to call me. <laughs> that was a reverse thrown under the bus, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, let's start with something from where we are. I always believe in songwriting, you should write from where you're at, your current experiences. Uh, I'll use Keith Allen from Wigmore Island Get Gibbons as an example, and Keith is going through some eye difficulties, eye surgery mm. to regain some sight. He's struggling with vision, so he wrote a song called What Will I See Tomorrow? Clever. Very clever. And it's drawn a lot of attention because people, I don't want to say it, our age and stage are going through a lot of difficulties, and his eye is one of the common problems. Yes, I, as you know, I have a little bit of a problem with my eyes now. No. I, I, well, I have glaucoma, and then I've got yes, a cataract yes. into my left Yes, and you're going to get some remedies? No, no, just taking drops from now, you know. Eventually, but I do find it hard to read. The longer I read, the more blurry it all gets. Eventually, and, you will need a cataract. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm not afraid yeah. of that. Okay, but that song that you just showed me that you composed, which kind of reminded me a little bit of House the, of Cards theme, yes, uh, which I liked what you did there, Terry, very much. Have you got a name for that, even though no, you just put no it name. together? No, it was just following, as I, as I mentioned, it's following the rule of thumb for musicians. Get at it and don't leave it. Like, do something yeah, just to get an idea day, down do every day. I'd change it up. Use a different instrument. Use a different tempo, different key signature. Do something different. And so that was the adage that I was following. I hadn't done anything. Did it at five this morning. And just sketched it out. That's what I call a sketch. Yeah, well, you're fabulous at that. I Like, you could have five of them before the lunch break. You're just really good at it's that kind of stuff. part of the discipline. <laughs> part of the discipline. Yeah. Let's get back on to things that are happening right where we are. And I'll start with Ontario, Bill 28, the Notwithstanding Clause, and the QP, Canadian yeah. Union of Public Employees. Well, I'm glad they're back. I'm, I'm glad they're back in school. I'm I'm glad uh, Ford backed down to the portion where he did. I don't know exactly all about that. I know there's some people who are mad at that backing down, but I thought it was. We t talked on a show that it was a little bit extreme. Maybe uh, another approach could have happened, but nevertheless, I'm just glad the kids are back in school for now. And I and there's so much stuff in the world, Terry. I got to be honest with you. I'm almost. I'm almost in the point in my life now where I'm not attracted to it like you are, where I just feel like just saying, forget it, man. I'm just going to bow out. I have curiosity, Jim, and curiosity leads me all kinds of places. So I'm curious about the notwithstanding clause used by Premier Ford. I thought it was a little heavy handed. You had five months. They've been in negotiations for five months. So I'm curious why it came down to the proverbial 11th hour yeah i don't know maybe fatigue i'm tired screw you <laughs> you know i'm gonna throw you all in jail i yeah. don't i don't know why. <laughs> that sounds like a heavy-handed approach indeed throw you all in jail okay so there's there's some positive thing there was a heavy hand of government coming down to legislate away the right to strike in other words to deem that strike illegal but the ontario labor relations board in the presentation awarded the union the right to strike and said it was legal so now we got not illegal because bill c20 uh bill 28 is legal it's legal you can do this it's just not a really good look if you're trying to win friends and influence unions <laughs> well we'll see where the cards fall House you know i can understand yeah i can understand some of the frustration because you, you know how you know how i feel about unions having so much power that they control they can control a government i don't like that i hate it so um part of me in my dark side wants to destroy them all right you know get it all out of here but we need unions i know that so i just wish they weren't so powerful i haven't elected them i don't like them dictating policies and stuff so you know, you and me are on two different sides of the We are. Fence I'm, uh, there, there's a couple of great union songs that I used to sing with some gusto. 
Yes, I am a union man, <laughs> and I dare to take a stand. Yes, uh, the union stand against corruption, against graft, against putting people down, against, um, well, let's take a look at Elon Musk for a sidebar. Zing! We're going over there. Twitter. There's been a lot of reaction to, to Musk taking it over because he runs his business as a sole proprietor. He makes all the decisions and it's, it's everybody his, jumps. It's he his, says how high. It's his forty-four billion dollars. It's his dollars. forty-four billion or less. But apparently, there are a lot are coming back. So I don't know what. It, mm. uh, maybe it was some sort of a test. You're fired, but then they. Oh, start, that's the employees. Yeah. Start being called back. And by the way, Elon Musk apparently was over in Egypt for this climate thing. Oh, CP27. giving his support to the climate control and all the rest of it. Well, the electric... And, and, and oh, apparently oh. a lot of leaders of countries didn't go, but he did. I wonder why the leaders didn't show up. Um, people think they're, everybody's just getting tired of it and uh, apathy, you know, like... Boy, apathy over climate. Unbelievable. I know, I know. I know but, I okay. mean, look at it. What a gorgeous day driving here. I can't believe it. The other day, you're in a T-shirt walking around to the side. Yes. That was just like a day ago. Yes. And uh, you say to yourself, this is incredible. I, I mean, I, I enjoy it immensely, but you're also saying, Ooh. what's going on? The wind for three days was very strong. We had a tower go down in, in Pefferla. The, uh, they built a brand new uh, fire department hall and mm -hmm. everything, and it had a, a tower. I don't it know, 70, hold up to the 70 wind? 80 foot and fell. Wow. Yeah, it came down. So uh, what can I tell you? I like wind. Faulty standards. I, I like wind. Faulty but, labor. Well, faulty parts. You faulty have materials. to ask yourself because the, 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 the place hasn't been open a year, maybe a year. Something. That's it. <laughs> and so this is brand stinking new, and yeah. it came down. So, And they had problems. Remember I used to tell you Elon Musk can build a 40-story high tower yeah. in three months, and it took us three years to build a fire hall. You know yeah. what I mean? Something was wrong, and then this tower falls on the first day. Don't forget you were building it through COVID, were you not? Um. No, I think it was started way before that. Oh, so it was already finished. So it's no, it wasn't finished. It was just couldn't like there was contract problems with uh, contractors running out of money and all kind. You know, I guess if you go to the lowest bid, <laughs> maybe they can't. And yet do the it. lowest bid put the shuttle together and put it in space. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. All right, let's get back. This bill from Premier Ford was retracted. There's no strike. Kids are back in school. That's good news. Yeah. And that's the way it should be. You shouldn't be ordered back. You should be negotiated back. That's the whole point. The whole point is the right to strike is negotiate. Yeah, and I don't know enough of it to have an argument against that. That's okay. <laughs> well, just in principle, do you like to negotiate? Oh, yeah. I like I like negotiations, just of course. The uh, opposite is that somebody gets, to, and you always argue this for majority governments. I just want somebody in there who's going to rule, make decisions, and go. Well, they kind of do like that. And I kind of don't. That's, I know. That's an authoritarian streak in you, my friend. Mwah, I like to negotiate. Mwah, uh, All right. So that's one good piece of starting where we are. This coming week is also Remembrance Day. And so yeah. what are you looking forward to there? And I know... We have a cenotaph celebration on November 11th. They were suspended during COVID. I've already had a cenotaph celebration actually yesterday. Uh, wait, yesterday was Monday, right? Yeah. Sunday. Okay. Sunday uh, because we wanted dignitaries there. And mm -hmm. then Georgina, uh, we have a lot of uh, veterans and memorials and cenotaphs and all the rest of it. So we had it on Sunday. I attended and it was uh, short but sweet. I came accidentally in a half an hour early, so I was standing there like an official. People were wondering, well, should we go talk to that guy? But he's not in a suit. Uh, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I can remember back in the days, I'm going to say it's in the 60s, and I was in Cub Scouts, and our whole Cub Pack, every church had a Cub Pack and Cub Scouts and Girl Guides and mm. Brownies, and we all had to get dressed, and we, those were short pants. Mm. It was freezing cold, but we all joined in this huge celebration of marching. And again, that's, what, 20-some-odd years after the war. So it's yeah, yeah. fresh. And the number of vets and vets in wheelchairs and vets who didn't make it in one piece, mm -hmm. all of that is acknowledged. But that's my remembrance of one of the most profound uh, remembrance days as being a Cub Scout and marching along Danforth Avenue. 
Yeah, I haven't been in any marches, but for the last, uh, I missed it last year, and I can't know, I, I can't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, but this, but but I do like to make the effort to be there. Matter of fact, I was invited to a barbecue and everything, and I said, well, I have to leave for an hour. You know, I'll be back. And because uh, I was going to the, mm-hmm. the to the, the I don't know if you call it celebration, what you remember, remember, yeah, remembering, yeah, memorial service, memorial, and all the rest of those with it. There you go, remembrance. Lest day. we forget. Got a poppy on your coat? I do. It's in the car now, though. There you go. All right, Jim and Terry show signing off. First one down. down.